now there's someone coming. All right, it's Casey Camera Boy here at Teka. Damn, you just got here, I guess. Hola. Hola. What are you doing? No English. She's like them paisas. <laughs> oh my god. The English speaking. You think she speaks Spanish? No Spanish. Then what do you guys speak? I don't know, mojado language, I guess. Oh my god. You guys too speak English. <laughs> so what are you guys doing? Well, I'll give you three guesses. I mean... Guys, this is private property, and if you're not going to answer the questions, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I don't care who you are, turn the cameras off. You need to go. <clears throat> Come on, Toffee. You actually think I'm going to turn it off? <clears throat> you're on private property. No, I'm not. You are on private property. This is my property. No, I'm not. Really? Yes. Why is that? Because I already checked the yeah, yeah, yes. I'm asking, what are you guys doing with the cameras? That was. A I already told question. you. I give you three guesses. No, we're not playing games. Whoa. If you're having fun, that's great. I love the cameras. I just wanted to know why, because this is a private business. I refuse to answer your question. Then I need to ask you to leave. We're not gonna leave. Okay, that's yeah. fine. We'll take care okay. of that. Thank All you. right, bye, Felicia. Wow. <laughs> that's how it's gonna go. <laughs> what? Why is this an issue, guys? We're just asking. Why is this know. an issue? Why do you have an issue with, with me filming? Because this is a private business and we just want to know why you guys are here with cameras. I mean, That's you can't know, but I mean, I don't have to tell you. No, you're right. You don't have to tell me. Oh, That's okay. fine. It, but if that's how we want to run it, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, Thanks, guys. Okay, okay, bye. Pops ready. Bye, Felicia. We'll be here. <laughs> Back to work. He tried to intimidate. This is going to be a great blog, dude. <laughs> She said, then you guys do speak English. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, no, 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 Sp no Spanish. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I got, got him. We got a cam back. I got him. Back to work. Let's go a cam back, just in case. Just no flake, don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my god. We're sweeping the bear again. We're sweeping this whole area, dude. Oh man, this is just beyond yeah, awesome. Yeah, that guy. I think the cops were having fun. They were. Huh? <laughs> it's gonna be the walk of shame right now. Oh. They're like, let's go inside. <laughs> hold my, hold my, hold my cameras. For real? Yeah, hold. What are you gonna do? Just put my handcuffs on. Are you recording too? Yeah. I wanted to see me in handcuffs. You have my key, right? Uh, let me see. Didn't I just give it to you? Yeah, it's in my pocket, but let me see. Let's make sure. <laughs> Okay, here, hold it. They wanted to see me in shackles. There you go. <laughs> Dude, I think I'm gonna drop my camera here. Ah. There they come. Illumination, Teka Illuminati. You never know, dude. Yeah. There is. There is. That's it. Here, hold it. Here. Hey, they wanted to see me in shackles. I'm right here. I already handcuffed myself just in case. I feel like <laughs> a big drug dealer like this, man. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Uh, uh. Else, even, I mean, 
anybody else. I mean, I try to explain it, man. Like I tell them, hey, I'm working on a project. I'm doing a First Amendment protected activity. Yeah, I think I talked to you once before, actually. For real? I think so. At the Madera County office. Yeah, see, it was him. It was him, huh? I I remember you. Yeah, yeah. It was. I remember your voice, too. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Oh, it was him then? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me say Taba Tavai. Close enough. Okay, cool. I'm sorry, I have an anyway, accent. No I get that a lot. Take off, guys. Obviously, we came here because we got called. Sorry about that. I mean, they were wasting resources. I'm sorry. You know, like right. you well, guys could have been on a different call. We're gonna go do that now. All right. All right. Hey, have All a right, good one. Take care. You All too. Right, thank you too. <laughs> hey, let me have my keys, dude. These things are too tight. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh. Here. Get it. That's it. You guys take it easy, all right? All right you too. Hey, later, guys. I guess. <laughs> Are you guys enjoying the moment? <laughs> enjoying what, this moment? <laughs> 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 Just another day in paradise, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. You know what? Um, honestly, I just have a question, if you don't mind. Yes, sir. It has nothing to do with why I'm here or okay. that kind of stuff. I'm just curious about you. Yes. All right, what, what is it that you guys do, or what group was it? You said First Amendment auditors? Yeah, First Amendment, we're actually doing, um, for example, government contractor, government contractor with the place, and government contractor as well. Um, okay. That place right there is getting uh, $2 uh, million and $23,000 a year. So that. once you're a government contractor, that's when we come in. You know, we we'll record them because now they're they're on our tax dollars. That yeah, place was, over there. Was, that's what I was kind of. That place about. over there too, and this place gets like fifty three thousand a year, or so. Is that on public record or something? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's on Google. Yeah, it's on Google. Yeah. And so we hit we hit like all places that are government contractors. So that's all we can. Yeah. Right now, they were actually working for um, something for the army. They were building some stuff for like the military and stuff. So they had to stop like the whole production because we were there and they didn't want us to see what they were building. So, yeah. Man. So, in these people, I think they work with the roads, like roads or something. And this, I mean, you can see these people work for illumination and stuff like that. So, that's a good thing. Though. Yeah. So, that's very much for the streets and mm. uh, county buildings. And yeah. So, I, that's what we do. It's just government contractors. So, we go and film them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was just curious. Yeah. No, no. I mean, I'm here to answer questions as long as, you know, it doesn't compromise my safety. <laughs> hey, but have a good one. Yeah, I mean, any any, any questions? I mean, uh, feel free to ask me. I mean, yeah. That's all it is. Like that guy, I even gave him my phone number. I'm like, hey, dude, like this is my phone number. You want to talk to me? You know, like I gave it to him. Yeah, that's so, what he said. Yeah, I gave it's it to him. It's not a him. big deal. They just didn't understand what was yeah. going on. I mean, I told him I'm from Bakersfield. I told him I'm from Bakersfield. You know, I'm doing an investigation. You guys are government contractors. He. He didn't like the fact that we were filming him. I'm like, hey, like we're in a public side. Well, we try to explain him as much as we can. We're not gonna disclose. I mean, I went over the limit and told him, you know what, we're doing an investigation because you're a government contractor. Yeah, I think that's just so, human nature, man. Yeah, people so, don't understand what's going on. They they yeah. get a little weirded by it. And yeah. if people understand what's going on, then it's. I think he got triggered because my bulletproof. That did. You know, it's not every that's day what, they see some guy walking around what, with a bulletproof vest. That's what got him. I told him, you know, it's my safety. You know, 911. You gotta be a, prepared. Well, I'm not tripping on it, but, you know, <laughs> they're not used to it. They're not. Yeah, and I told him, hey, this is for my safety. You can't own one yourself. And cause he's like, man, I, I don't even want to depend on cops anymore. I'm like, man, could I conceal carry permit? Madera is actually, like, Madera PD is actually um, giving away. Well, not giving away. You got to meet the requirements for a concealed carry permit. You can grab yourself a, a, a bulletproof. I mean, you never know any shooting. You can probably take care of business. I would. You're allowed to defend yourself. Yes, I would. I mean, so look I'll at the church. That, look at the Houston. That guy took down the uh, the guy yeah. before the cops got there. So, I mean, yeah. it's a risky. People think it's just grabbing a gun and papa and that's it. No, no. It requires it's, a little bit of training. Yes, huh? it does require a little bit of training. You got to oil your gun every two weeks and stuff like that. I would say you know how to dismantle right. your gun? Oh, you do? I was going to tell you, like, I, I even so. open up your gun <laughs> and I even dismantle your gun and trust me, I put it back. That's how good I am with it. Good. Yeah, if but you're gonna have a weapon, you need to be proficient. Yes, with. sir. So, yes, you, it, course, it's not man. a joke. It's not a joke. And on that note, guys, we're gonna head to the next call. But I was just Thank curious. You. Thanks for answering my question. Yeah, no problem on that. Yeah, anytime, right. man. Have Thank you. Day, have a good one. Thanks for being cordial. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. See? Probably my fault. That's it. Aviation. Go back to the truck. <laughs> Go back, Go back to, to our, our, our truck over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they went to the big over there. Yeah. Yeah. He's over there or what? Do we go back? Yeah, let's go back this way so that comes not better.
Let's go back there. Oh, so this is actually the crosswalk here. Yeah, it looks like it. They made that crosswalk here in the middle for people to just cross. Dude, I know how to dismantle a gun right away, like open it up and put it back up. And oil the hell out of it. Will you oil it? Yeah, you have to oil it. Most likely it's every two weeks, depending on how much you use it and the conditions where you are. Where you are. For example, Sheriff, they go um, a lot to the uh, orchards and stuff where there's a lot of dust. So you don't want to get dust inside your gun and right. it's all bad. Okay, Casey, camera boy, peace.